Wow, look at this. Today we're going to look at the new creation. Jesus said to enter into the kingdom of heaven, ye must be born again. That is, becoming that new creation. Well, welcome to our series, God's Plan for Redemption. Being born, you are given the breath of life, becoming a living soul, and that's a natural birth. Born again is a spiritual birth. That's where you receive eternal life. It's the gift of God me mediated through faith in Christ Jesus. John 3, 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. I looked up that word believeth. Implies an obedience. You are persuaded. You comply, not just a mental acceptance of fact. See life. That word says you are to see life. In other words, you're to pause, you take thought, and then you comprehend truly what's going on, right? This eternal life is not just an endless existence because that's true of the unsaved as well. It's qualitative involving the importation of a new nature. Second Peter 1 Peter 1.3 According as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Second Peter 1 Peter 1.4 Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Now, regeneration then has this basic idea, to be restored, to be born again. It's an act of God through the agency of the Holy Spirit originating in man a new dimension of moral life, but an impartation. That's what it is, an impartation of Christ's own righteousness in us, by which you are quickened, made alive, give life to. Begotten is one way the word describes it. A new creation, to walk in newness of life. This involves an illumination of the mind, a change in your will, and a renewed nature a principle of spiritual life imparted in your heart. And this extends to the whole nature. It alters the governing disposition to how you even want to live your life. And it restores you to a true experiential knowledge. God wants you to experience Jesus Christ. When your soul is regenerated, you're voluntarily and spontaneously turn towards God in fellowship. You crave that fellowship with your Father because you have a new nature. You want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit, thank Jesus for what He's done for you, and worship the Father. We have as our Lord, Jesus Christ, He is the head of this new creation. Colossians 1.18 And He is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Jesus, our head, is Lord over sin, disease, Satan, and even circumstances. In him we are also free. Know the truth, and it shall set you free. The Lordship of Christ means that sin and disease do, do not lord over us, and ours is then an acting upon the Word, acting upon the Word of God. This message of complete redemption is that God is satisfied with His work in Christ. It is finished. Christ has once and for all put sin away, no more offering for sin. The new creation is also freed from even the consciousness of sin. Hebrews 10, 14. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 
Hebrews 9, 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Satan wants to keep you sin conscious. With that on your mind, you miss the real issue. With a mind ruled by a sin consciousness, you fail to have the mind of Christ. Renew the mind. Think like Jesus. Love God, love your neighbor, and be love conscious. Join me next time and we'll look at being love conscious.